What are we the for bonding? Hello everybody. My name is Link. This is my voice now. I was trapped on my head. Now my, my life sucks. Oh, you want to be? Should we believe what she said? Go to Kakariko Village. I guess so. Anyways, my name's Chris, and welcome back to some more. Let's play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we checked out Hyrule Castle Town, and it was all freaking messed up. And I was like, I wonder if Kakariko Village will be the same. It doesn't seem. Whoa, why is it becoming night? Okay, we're in a kind of a weird transition phase. It was morning, but I thought I waited long enough for it to, like, you know, be fully bright here. Anyways, you'll notice that many people have disappeared from Hyrule Castle Town. And all, like, the notable ones actually appear here, such as these guys. <laughs> oh, this is like Waluigi guy, wasn't he? Look at this guy. Ever since he escaped from Hyrule Castle Town, he's been even more timid. That's not a Waluigi voice at all. I tell you, I saw him. I saw the ghostly figure on top of the gravekeeper sinking into this grave. It looked like he was holding some kind of treasure. Wasn't I told I need to look for a treasure here? Are they related or is it a different treasure? Hmm, that is not what I wanted to do at all. Gosh, dog, dude. How come this, is, how come this like ledge exists? I mean, if you're in a town, like, wouldn't it make a lot more sense for this to be like a staircase instead of like a ledge? <laughs> I'm already critiquing the town. Anyways, so wait, is it? No, it's considered daytime here. Here's the old guy we saw running around Hyrule Castle Town as well. A long time ago, there was a man in, a vi in this very village who had an eye they said could see the truth. Now, usually, you have to train your mind's eye most strenuously to actually see the truth. But this fella, no. They say he had a different way of doing things. His house stood where the well is now. I actually didn't know that backstory. Interesting. That comes into play later with the well, but that's not anything we can do for now. House of Sculpture all still stands here, and they're all just been kind of chilling here for the past 30 billion years. Have I collected the reward from this guy? Let's check it out. Oh, no, he just told me to save his brosives. How many Sculptulomatas do I even have? I have 42. Holy crap, that's a lot! Holy crap! That's probably more than I've ever had. I wonder. I'm kind of curious my other, how many I have on my other file. It's probably more than that, actually. Um, hmm. Alright. So, should we bother exploring or should I. I don't feel like everyone's out here. This place wasn't here before. Oh no! What is this? Can we read the signs? We can't. Alright, well, there's a bullseye there, so. Wait a minute. This looks like the rupee place that was in Hyrule Castle time before. Oh. <laughs> that was an accidental burp. This guy's high as shit. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> it's 20 rupees for play. Okay, this is a game for grown ups. Hyrule's most famous shooter gather. Take aim at the targets from that platform over there. Can you hit that target? You get 50 shots. Draw your weapon with me. Are you ready? Go for perfect score. I get a bow and arrow? That's awesome! I guess we're doing this now, and this sucks. So, is this the exact same as the Rupee game? Let's take a look at this book! Holy crap, I am shocked. Holy crap, I actually got it! What if I got this my first try? Well, I, I just had to jinx it the night. Well, crap. That is unfortunate. Uh huh. Well! I would miss everything after I s mentioned that. What if I got my first freaking... Uh, too bad. Practice hard to come back. See, the thing is, at least I have a lot of poopies. Oh, great. Just worse, waste my first shot went off. No. <laughs> Once again, I think it's more about memorizing, to be honest. Oh, yeah. And then there's red poopies. Oh, my God. I hate my life. I thought it was that green rupee that was coming instead of red poopies. Alright, then they come up. No, it's blue poopies next. Ugh, I hate how finicky the controller is. I have two shots. Two rupees! BAM! Almost! Well, alright, I'll let you try one more time for me. No, I think there should be like a stoner voice showing it. This time you gotta do it, man. Alright, poopies. What? It's random?! Are you serious? Oh my good lord, how am I supposed to do this now? No! No! I hate everything. <laughs> oh boy. No, 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 no! <sighs> Reaction time! It's like you touch the controller stick a tiny little baby bit. 
What? Oh, I ran out of shots. Yeah, yeah, I want to try again. I'm not going to waste a shot by pressing B. I'm only pressing A right now, but it takes so long to go through the deck. There we go. I was careful. I was very careful. Okay, so far, so swell. Oh, no. I should have went for the other one first. Take out too high! My life sucks. Oh, my. Seriously? No. I refuse. There we go. Oh, no. I thought... How many have I gone? Like two? <laughs> I'm getting worse. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, okay, we have 10 shots. Everything's all good in the hood. I'm just careful. I can still do this. No, oh, no, more. No! I'm getting better, though. I'm getting better. I freaking jinxed it again now. This one. Yep. Those blue rupees always come together, it seems. Great. Is that it? No. Nope. Almost. Well, well, all right. Hell each other more time for fucking. Whoa, I got my arrow back. What? That was cool. I don't know why, but I got it back. No, no, no. Oh, oh my god. No! No, damn it! For Joe's. Damn it! No! I see you pooping your little head out. Uh, uh. What? I hit it! Are you kidding me? Are you effing kidding me? Clearly you must be! Oh, okay, I'm, if I, after this, I'm gonna start cutting or something. <sighs> okay, one more time, one more time, one more time. This is, this is how they get you. This is how these freaking assholes get money out of you. They get you so close to winning, and then it's like, haha, you're so close, but not really. It's freaking rigged! It's all rigged! Oh no, I'm too high in the sky. Oh, I got it. I got it. Bam, shika dam dam. Uh huh. Yes! Yes! <gasps> I did it! Wonderful! Bravo! Oh my good lord, that was stressful. Here's a fantastic prize! My voice changes a lot. What? 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 I don't get anything. Jump off here. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk. I just want to. <laughs> that, that was me killing myself. <sighs> okay, so I actually had no idea we didn't get anything from that. That wasn't just me being a stupid little actor, okay? I, I'm actually pretty angry that nothing happened with that. I can't sell you anything. Can I sell you Deku Nuts or something? No? What, can I, what does this guy want me to sell him? I don't understand. Like, I can't sell him ammo. It's not like we really get any items we could sell and such. I don't freaking get it. Anyways. Okay, so... That building that people were building all this time... When we... Oh, excuse me. Holy crap. What's going on with my freaking burpy burper burps? That building that the construction workers were building this entire freaking time was this pointless archery shop that you get nothing from, apparently. So I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think we get anything from it. Hmm. I come to think of it, I should have known that too. Oh, you know what? We do get something from it. We just can't get it yet. I'm so stupid. I should have known. Oh, we gotta do it again. That means crap. Well, I got a hint that Dompey's around or something, but he's coming out of, of a grave or something. I don't know, like. Well, he's a grave digger, so it kind of makes sense, but I don't understand why people are scared that he's coming out of a grave. Well, I do, but, you know, we're gonna pretend that I don't. <laughs> so! These beans we planted as a child, they're turning to... 
of things. And then you get stuff from them, including a heart piece. A short piece, a shard of hearts. What? Holy crap, we're on our second row already. Is that Dompe right there? Is he a ghost? Does this go anywhere else? No, it just goes up and down. Some of these have more intricate paths and they're kind of cool. They don't just go up and down like that. And they're not really like beanstalks where they grow up and down. They go all over the place. It's really neat. What's that? See like a lantern over here? What's this? I actually don't know what the heck this What? Oh, is it just a Poe? Oh, I guess it's just a Poe. Fine. Don't you spin your lamp at me. I spin my lamp back and forth. I spin my lamp. I, I spin it real good. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know these lamps are just here. I don't think there's any down there. All right, so is Dompe in his house? Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at this book. All right, Dompe. Can we go? Oh, we can't go in here now. Cool beans, bro. Uh, can I check it? The grave, the gravekeeper's diary is here. Do you want to read it? Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I will. Let you have my stretching shaky keepsake. I'm waiting for you to. Oh my god. Why would he write that? Did he know he was dying? That's kind of morbid. Why would he tell us to enter his grave? Why wouldn't he just tell us like he hid it under his freaking bed or something like that, right? That makes no sense to me. What is his grave? I actually have no idea which one's his grave, and that's kind of an issue to be honest. Uh, so, like this one. Is it a grave where there wasn't a hole when we were a child? Nope, not that one. We might have to kill some poles. I seriously have no bloody idea what which one's his grave. Blah, eh? But yes, what we're doing right now is necessary. It isn't just like a side quest thing. It is something we have to do. Is it? Oh. Is it because there's flowers here? There's little flowers growing for Mr. Sir, Mr. Dompe, sir. Is, oh. Oh yeah, I remember I came here before and I didn't have bombs yet. I said I was gonna blow this up. Am I not close enough? Maybe I'm not close enough. Can I talk to you? And when you see these skulls, you can talk to them. We can't. What happens if we came here as a child? And also, will this wall be blown up as a child? Or are they that, like, careful with what changes? <laughs> oh, this is just a fairy fountain. Oh, that's neat. I didn't know this was here. Do I have a bottle? Oh, I do. Oh, but I already demonstrated that. Okay, never mind then. So, yeah, bottle fairies, and then you'll find you. Oh my god, like you look cuddly hugs. <laughs> they make me feel so good. So, yeah, I wonder if I came back here as a child. Like, technically, it shouldn't be blown up as a child because, you know, that's in the past and we haven't blown it up yet. But I don't know if they're that careful with, like, space time continuum stuff. <laughs> uh, I didn't even understand what I just said. Um, hmm. Like, this isn't anything, right? Yeah, that doesn't say anything. It's not in the royal chambers, is it? Like, there's nothing in there I missed. Is it, this grave has flowers on it. Is there going to be a secret here as well? Is that my indication that there's a secret? It, I think that is what that means. Hello, is there any dead Dampes down here? Oh, we are indeed in the grave. Oh my god! He looks just as derpy as before. Hey, you guys! That should be his voice. Ha, ha, ha! Young man, are you past on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. I don't have a race. Follow me if you dare. Woo! So, this isn't really a race. Um, don't worry about beating him. Whoa! You just have to keep up for the most part. And he did slow down there. And make sure you don't take the wrong direction. You know, let's even show what happens when we take the wrong direction. Bye! We just get lost in here forever. Oh no. Oh, well. <laughs> okay then. I guess we're not showing what happens because fate is telling me not to do that. Oh, I heard a door close. No! Navi, I see you, Navi. I see you following. You do eventually have to beat this guy, but we actually don't have the ability to do so yet. So for now, we're just following him and he's leading us to his secret floaty floatness. Look at these clever loading screens. They're so clever. I guess when the clock ticks, that means we we have to catch up to him, otherwise the door closes or some crap. I feel like he goes backwards here or something. But no, he doesn't. Okay. Let's go up the, the thing here. For the most part, this is pretty linear. And you hear the ticking right there? Yeah. Oh, you even saw the thing there. It almost closed on me. Is that it? We good? Is it all, are we all good in the hood? Let's just take a look at him. 
Dompey's ghost. That's the ghost of the dead gravekeeper. If he chases him, he might give you his key thing. The time of this racer is one minute, nine seconds. <laughs> young man, you will very quick be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As you are worry, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the hook shot. It's bring a tank. We'll put you in a spot with hook sinks. Does that sound cool? I still will help you. And if you know, so come back again sometime. I'll, I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. <laughs> And then he just bursts into flames because he's actually secretly a satin. So yeah, we could actually get something else from Dompe if we come back here. But we have to beat the time of one minute. But we won't be dealing with that for now. Look at the lens butt. Mm, girl, that butt though. We found the hook shot! Spring load chain, you can cast out the hook and hook things. You could use it to try distant items toward you. Or you can use it to pull yourself towards something special. When holding C, you could aim with blah blah blah. Alrighty, so we have the hooky shotty. Which, by the way, I gotta say, you know, I do like hook shots better. I like the hook shot the best in a Zelda game. Second favorite item would probably be the bombs. They're just so useful for blowing up shizzle, and they seem like you use them. Whoa! Are we trapped in here? Hello? The dick! You just trapped us in here! Do you have anything to say about this, Navi? Hey, isn't that the same design that's on the door of time? Yeah, okay, so... For some stupid reason... These blocks here... Is that right? No, is it right? A down? Okay, that's what it is. <laughs> For some reason, the function of the Song of Time in this game is only- Well, for one, opening that door of time, and two, getting rid of these blocks or transporting them somewhere else. That is the dumbest use of the Song of Time, in my opinion, because it's like, really? And for some reason, this grave leads up to here? The windmill? I don't even know. Oh, you know what? When we come into the windmill, it also says question mark. Interesting. And so this is your one chance as well to get this heart piece, this shirt piece, so don't miss it. Although, actually, it might not be your one time to get it, because if you're down here and you come here the normal way, I believe we can actually hook shot on to here. No? Oh, come on, really? This is way- this should work. So the hookshot's supposed to sink into any wood? Or like, any natural thing that you would imagine a hook to sink into? So nothing like stone or concrete. Grrr! I'll never forget what happened on that day, seven years ago. Grrr! It's all the Ocarina Kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up! Uh... You mean this Ocarina? What?! You've got an Ocarina?! What the heck?! That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. You messed up with this windmill. I'll never forget this song. My personal favorite Zelda song ever. Actually, playable song, I should say. Oops, I totally messed it up. My favorite- I always mess up a song when I learn it for some reason. It's like tradition at this point. The morning song is probably like my favorite Zelda song, but playable song wise, this is probably my favorite playable song. It's just so good. The song of the thong of thorns. It just starts reading inside for some reason. You learn the song of storms. What do you say now? Oh no, a storm again! You played the ocarina again, didn't you? Okay, so, this is confusing as heck, but try to follow me on this one. As a child, we don't know the song. However, seven years later, this guy tells us, he, I play the song as a child, so I play the song and I learn it. Now we go back in time as a child and come and talk to this guy and play the song, and we teach him the song. So he teaches me the song as an adult, then we go back and teach him the song as a child, and it's like a time paradox. It's like, where did the song initially come from? Nobody freaking knows. It's a mystery, but it's a really cool mystery. Anyways, we have gotten what we have came here for. 
And now we're back in Kakariko Cove. I would like to take a moment and thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the next episode, I'm not really entirely sure, but we will do something. Thank you guys so much fun, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.